Oh, you better believe we just connected to the internet to do a live stream, Elvin. We're here, baby. Yes, We're online. We I think this might be like the most in frame I've ever been. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just move the camera a little bit so we see like a third of you. It's, yeah, it's, it's just just so just so we feel safe and at home. It's feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing? We're we're back. It's Tuesday, uh, April 9th, twenty twenty four. It's about four forty nine where where we are. We've just today we've just been like go 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 go. It's, so, tell them the exciting news about. Our thing's getting here. Yes. Oh, that piece of exciting news. Yeah. Yes. Our stuff is here, and this may be... You can see, like, things here. Yeah, we could... Never mind streaming. We could just tell a whole story with all these guys. We're just falling off the Guess back what, here. Sonic? All the Sasso Studio stuff is here. We can make stuff again. Cool, right? Shut up, Tails! Oh, no! I'm <laughs> going to the bar to drink! Oh, oh no! <laughs> He promised he wouldn't do this on camera. <laughs> on Any camera. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, um, I see a lot of hearts coming in for that <laughs> for that wonderful performance. JPEG says, "Ah, yes, the things. The things have arrived in this big box over here. You can't quite see it. Yeah, but this big I box get, like, over here. Giant frame out of the way. This is the actual computer." So we'll be setting that up. Um, yep. As you can see, some jib arms for our microphones. Things, things of you may think you may think you're setting things up, but I will take it over. <laughs> Amazing! Blast it! Oh, oh, that really hurt my my spleen. I have to go rest. I have to go sleep this one off. Oh, he's holding, oh. His... <laughs> holding his leg. Appendix. My spleen. Oh, my spleen. Uh, if at any point the animation starts to get a little monotonous, we'll just bring all these Sonic... We'll, we'll throw in a random... Yeah. Sonic toy. stuffed animal in. We'll make up stories. Yeah. Rouge is... Just for you. Rouge is, Rouge is face down on the ground. Yep, yeah, she's been drinking with Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Oh boy! But yeah, so um, we're able to like actually fully uh -huh. set up the studio now. Uh, exciting because uh, now that we have our stuff, the materials for the sound panels are now here, so we can build those. Yes. We can set up the workspaces. Mm. Evelyn's pretty much set up her workspace in the corner. It's beautiful. Um, oh, thank you. There's like plants and stuff. Yeah, the fake plants. Fake plants and stuff over there. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not bashing the fake plants. Yeah, it looks good. It looks nice, but we couldn't keep real plants down here. They'd die. Yeah, that's very sad. What if no. we change the lighting to reflect sunlight? No, it has give to give off the same energy. It has no. to. We would have to get like actual grow lights for that. Let's install some grow lights. It's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Melon Plushy Production says, "LOL, you guys are so weird <laughs> in a good way." Excellent. So we like to keep it. Wonderful. That makes me happy. Speaking of weird stuff going on, let's take a look at this um, yeah, animation oh, yeah. that we have. Looks like these guys are doing some bad guy stuff if I've ever seen it. Oh, yeah. You may have to like do the, the non-high yeah. fidelity. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so we have to finish up this this beat down cycle, and then uh, we have to add in sound effects, which we'll be doing at a later time. We won't do it on the stream because we're going to really work the, the animation today. And then um, I think we have one more pass on the opening scene for this animation, and then all the principal animation is finished. Woohoo! We have our big computer now. So we can actually render at lightning speed and do things like light and yeah. and all that kind of good stuff. So we can set up the scene. We can put in um, a background. Yep. We we're generate we're super some, close. Yeah. Well, thanks for your patience, guys. Like super close. Now that the animation is complete, everything else is pretty like 
kind of by the books. I mean, I yeah. guess our, our animation is by the books too, but sometimes it can take a little longer because, you know, still still learning a lot moving. about... Because moving. Yeah, move, moving models and characters around can be... Um, uh, it's a lot of opportunities for learning. Yes. So. Also, we've been able to, like, do a lot in lieu of not having our actual equipment, so... Dude, we were, like, rock stars. We just... This laptop has been a rock star. Yeah. This thing just is... Killed it. I have put a lot of hours into animating on this laptop, and it's never let me down. It's pretty great. It is pretty great. Old Reliable. Yep. Old Reliable. <laughs> Come here, Dell. Let's animate. Anywho... Uh, let's start. Okay, so we got these two in the background, and we got this guy. We got Blaine Sonic in the foreground. Yeah, and he's stomping out Eggman's hands here. Yeah. Why don't we take a look at this stuff first? Oh, which would you rather do first? Would you rather do Blaine Sonic's animation, or would you rather do these guys' animation? Hmm. Well, I think the one in the back mm. is going to dictate the one in the front. Okay. So we should probably get the timing on the back down first. Cool. Cool, cool. The one in the back has been a little... I don't, it's been a little tricky because having these models interact, you have to be very precise and you have to... Um, with, with the placement of them so that the consistency... For instance, the consistency here in the hands for Sonic's hands on Eggman's mustache tufts. That was a a little bit of work here to have his fingers be consistent on his hairs but I think overall it looks really great killing it dude yeah so far it's coming together yeah so uh, why don't we why don't we continue forward here so what what would you like to see happen next uh, we, let's let's what, take a look at where it stops okay Okay, what is it, like 535? Okay, 533, something like that. So, yeah. He's going to the right and to the left. Yeah. And then he has to kind of go back and forth. Right, it'll be like a looping situation. Now, I think in terms of this loop, loop de doop, um, we need there to be a variation probably in some point where the mustache is getting pulled. Hmm. Okay. The first thing I thought of, honestly, was having Sonic's head bob up and down a little more in a more extreme way. Mm -hmm. Like right now, we don't even really have any loop just kind of like we could have him rock his head a little bit to the right and to rock the casbah yeah rock the casbah rock the casbah and then it has to come back when he starts to come back and now he needs to come back over this way yeah Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, that looks good. Yeah, it looks a lot better. All right, cool. So why don't we? We want his mustache to be pulled more. Um, you mean like out? How, how, how did you imagine it? So. This this one in my head, I think, was going to be the most complicated shot out of this animation. Excellent. Because if you just kind of do this back and forth, there's really not a whole lot going on. That's good for about a second and a half. But if he's got, like, he's running on, <laughs> and he's pulling him back and, and crap like that. Oh, so, that's, so we just need more, like... We need more acting. Okay. Um, and we need more, like, staging. So that... You know, that's like a lot of work. I'm it scared. is a lot of work. <laughs> but but this was definitely going to be the harder shot to do because it's a three shot. So always, yep. That's why I want to have like 
Sonic and Eggman's action is going to dictate where Belena Sonic's foot you know, hand smashing kind of comes in. So he could go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, and, and so we're missing um, the sound. Yeah. So I'm also going off of memory of like what everybody sounds like so that we can kind of get the timing. Mm. Um, so, you know, you've got Eggman going, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, like all those short, like kind of grunts. Right. Um, I know Sasosonic says a bunch of stuff too, which could work really well. Yeah. Because then we don't have to time anything with the sound effects. He could be just saying his crazy stuff, and I don't even re- I don't even remember what we had him say. There was like a bunch of like one-liners, like it was beyond the you know violence. Like, All right, let's go, and then you started saying a bunch of stuff. Yeah, take it, like oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah sounds like Sasso Sonic, <laughs> twenty twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, with that, if we if we have some of the if we have the entire motivation be. Sonic is the reins. Sasso Sonic is the reins. Mm. That follows through to Eggman. That follows through to Blaine Sonic. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then we can get all the timing down with Sasso Sonic, and then everyone will kind of follow suit. Mm. Um, and then that'll make it easier to like plan the animation out. So cool. right now we have Sasso Sonic going, eh, eh. and if he does this one more time, eh, eh, and then he like. Pulls back on the mustache. <laughs> it's like a slow then fast pull and some movement at the end. Yeah, you can totally ice- oscillate it. And while that's happening, you can have Eggman try to turn his head as his hand oh. is getting smashed down. Like, uh, uh. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's looking at his hand. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's <laughs> looking at it get it smashed. He feels it. It's horrible. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> but that I think a lot of that will come easier as we get like Sasasonics. Yeah, stage, the last like yeah. a bit of staging. And if we do that, where he does it the one two, and then he pulls it back, and then he just has to do that. Then he doesn't have to like right go through another cycle of staging. Right, and you could even loop that. Where he goes, comes back down, like if you wanted to. So we just have to like beef out the acting here. Yeah. Cool, dude. I think Way honestly, cool. you're like, this part could loop once. So if he goes one, one, two, then we can start the next cycle where he anticipates forward, pulls back, and then shakes the, the mustache. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. And then that way, too, if you do it that way, all that you have to do is kind of just place Eggman where he needs to go in those positions. Nice. Well, let's uh, let's get to it, then. Yeah. So, what up, Alexi? Hello, Alexi. Hello, Leo. What up? Thanks for joining. Yes. Mr. Leader of the Free Galaxy says, what if Sonic and Eggman got into a battle conflict with Optimus Prime and robots in disguise? Scourge with Galvatron's gun to him. Wow. That's pretty intense. Um, sounds like you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> it sounds like Rui's channel. Sounds like it's Rui's channel is the one you want. Hello, Demetrius. What up? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. All right. So let's grab all this. These fantastic frames. Yes. All right. Wow. Is, are these the same? No, they're not. They're close to being the same, but they're not the same. No, no. We need the same. I need to grab tissue. I'll be back. Goodbye, Melvin. Nose, nose. The nose, nose, my friend. Over there? Yeah. Huh, I didn't know that. Everyone's saying hello to you, Evelyn. Demetrius asks, Have you seen the Year of the Shadow video? Should be good for casuals and the kids this year. Huh? Have you seen the Year of the Shadow video? A uh, year of shadow video. 
If it's the trailer that Henry just sent us, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my oh, life. Oh man, that was, was rough. That was rough. Shadow is like, like mentoring people now. <coughs> he's also like a. He's like not actually in the. <laughs> no, in it's the like <clears throat> it's like PNGs of Shadow show up. And then there was the thing on Twitter that was like, it's right. him in a rock. It's him in a rock, but in in the actual <clears throat> video, like like the, like the bike riding video, Shadow doesn't directly engage. Like it turns into oh yeah, it turns into like a 2011 music video. Yeah, with all like like the notebook stuff, and the notebook stuff is like, okay, I know like people's notebooks can be messy sometimes, but that was like really intense. <laughs> like, that didn't seem like a notebook, right? No, it seemed like kind of threatening. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like something out of like, uh, what's that movie? Seven? It reminded me of like the beginning of Juno. Yeah, but not as well done. No, not as well done. <laughs> weird. No. I'd say that was the coolest part of that movie. The diary yeah. effect? Yeah, from the intro. That was, that, was, cool. that was actually based off of, um, I believe, a Korean film called Jenny and Juno. I want to see that one because I didn't like the... I didn't really like the... I, I, th I think I liked Jenny and Juno more. Uh, that's, we'll have to check that one out. But I yeah, like the, the, song. the Year of Shadow uh, is confusing thus far. Wasn't it supposed to be the... It was the <laughs> Year of Sonic for many years. And then it was the Year of Luigi. And then it was the year of... What's his face? Was it ever the year of Tails? Did Tails ever get his own year? I don't know. Probably robbed. <laughs> Sorry. He's robbed of the experience. That makes sense for Tails. He's usually robbed of most things, so... <laughs> Nine the Fox said, How are you doing today? I'm doing great. We're doing how are great. You? Yeah, how are you? Cypher Sonic's here, too. What up? What up? What up, Cypher Sonic? <clears throat> Liger says the Japanese channel also dropped a video and it's just like 10 seconds of Shadow looking cool while I am all of me is playing. Is it when he's like in a rock yeah. in space? Is that it? Is that the video we saw? We saw a video on Twitter. It was very short. Yeah. I mean, Maybe that, that's what it was. That might have been it. Hey. <clears throat> if you're a fan of Shadow. That to me made more sense than the um Yeah, what than was, the bike gang. What the heck happened? <clears throat> That's what I want to know. Who thought that was a good idea? I don't know. Today's youth ride bicycles. <laughs> but they don't ride motorcycles. Like Shadow <clears throat> does. Which make him which makes him look cool. But also the youth didn't look like youth. They look like 18 to play younger. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It looked like they were like 24, 25. Most of the the adults who were playing 18, playing younger, didn't really look like kids. So, it was weird. I don't know, man. There's just a lot going on. What did you think of, um, what did you think of like the 2D effects that played while she was riding her bicycle around? Oh, the overlays? Yeah. Man, they look pretty bad. We've just seen so much of that stuff. Like the the whole cell shading, like 2D kind of comic book look has to be done the right way. And a lot of times it's like a filter now. Yeah. And it, it doesn't feel right. It just feels kind of lazy. You can't be doing stuff like that, guys. Come on. It would have been real cool and probably way over <laughs> budget if they had like... As she was doing the, the bike tricks and they wanted to do something that was a, a cartoon or a 2D or a 3D effect, like the characters from her journal, she does a trick and then they, you know, transform or transition to those characters and then they start doing the tricks and then as they come out of the tricks, it turns into, transforms back into the real person. And stuff right, like right. so that. it's like a seamless transition between yeah. live action and animation. Yeah. Here's something else. I'm sure a lot of you noticed the um, she was wearing like black and red, I believe, and mm -hmm. the rest of 
the, the crew, eighteen year old, <laughs> the, the thirty six, yeah, the rest the of the thirty six year olds, unemployed, yeah, <laughs> actors and, yeah, the thirty six year old Californian teenage <laughs> actors, their ages are just going to continue to go up. They're like they're like forty eight. Um, they all had like one of them had like a blue shirt, another had a red shirt, and someone had like a yellow shirt. Yeah. So they were supposed to be playing like. They're supposed to be like the Sonic characters. Yeah. So. I don't know if that was that's a, a point of discussion. I don't know if we can like read into that. Uh, perhaps that's how Shadow feels and his shadow speaking to his shadow self. With that, Listen, they may reject you, but you do everything cool in your possession and they'll accept you. Get a tattoo. Rob a liquor store. <laughs> Do all the cool kids. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah. And it's like, it's just Shadow 759 Shadow. And then the girl has to be like, I'm trying not to go to jail, I, thank I you. I don't want to go to jail, Shadow. You'll never go to jail as long as they don't catch you. Look, I've got it by the books, A through Z on how to do it. Yeah. These kids don't care about biking. They care about street cred. That's the only thing I'm concerned with. I thought you wanted to be cool. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been uh, really funny. Way to go, loser. That should be a Shadow the Pitchhog, the campaign for the, the year of Shadow marketing. And Shadow just goes like, all right, we're going to do all the cool kid things so that this kid really doesn't get looked down upon. Smoke some cigarettes. <laughs> Rob a liquor store. Shadow, I don't, I don't think we can do that. I think those are all great things that Shadow should be doing. It'd be hilarious. And, and teaching the youth. Of, I mean, because Shadow's already 50 years old. Right? Yeah. So, and he's, he's like been around now for a long time. So maybe he's doing some bad guy stuff. Here, kid, my spare flask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, uh, Liger said that they had experienced something. I'm waiting for Liger to tell us what it was. I had a question about it. What did oh, you do? Yeah, what happened, Liger? Cyphersonic also asked. <laughs> he says, please stop. Can't take it anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Well, what did Cyphersonic ask? Oh, okay. Evelyn answered it. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, so that, that's Belana Sonic? In the foreground, that's Sasser Sonic. In yeah, the background. they're they're teaming up to do productive things in society. Clearly, yes. yes. You know. Anywho, truly amazing. Yeah, very very. Uh, you know, these are forces of good in their world. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think it's like one of the first times we've seen Eggman just get beat up for no reason. He doesn't get beat up more often, honestly. It's pretty great. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> he's he's kind of stupid. He's kind of deserved. He's kind of an idiot. It's really funny when he gets beat up. For all of his, you know, his his smartness, he kind of does a lot of stupid stuff. Don't you agree? I agree, a hundred percent. He's kind of a moron. He gets beaten by a bunch of teenagers. Right? Yeah. Bunch of weird blue teenagers. Weird teenage even if they are demigods, just like contact I don't know, like to turn them against each other. Have ha, uh invent a uh, Sonic. They're not that smart, Eggman. Yeah. Have Eggman create a version of Sonic that wants to go out with Amy and then they go out and then he does some bad guy stuff or I don't know, like robs a liquor store while they're hanging out. Use their undeveloped Teenage, teenage minds. minds against them. <sighs> Jesus. Um, Cypher says, hope you reach one million. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Liger says, so I want to ask, are you guys aware you're on TV right now? XD, my parents are in Egypt and I'm watching you on TV, PC, and phone. Nice. Okay. Now I only need my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We've seen the videos on television when we watch on YouTube. It's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah, sometimes we'll 
you see Evelyn jumping around. <laughs> yeah, she's getting into it. She's uh, working on some music right now, so she's dancing. Ah, it's very, it's very entertaining to watch her when she makes. It music. is very what? Yeah, it's very entertaining. I don't think she knows we're talking about her. No, she's she's into it. <laughs> so I think um, the other thing that we can do to help motivate um, the the action a little more. Um, oh yeah, it's looking good. I can get rid of some of this stuff so you can see it. A clear view. <laughs> Good jerk. I like the sharp nature of it. Yeah. Um. Maybe I can put some. Maybe maybe a little more. I think you can arc it a little bit. Yeah, I was just gonna say I could add some more arc to Sonic's legs in particular. Yeah, I think you can also arc the head movement of Eggman. We can do that. A little later, I think, once we work on him. Yes, yes, I agree. But other than that, I really, I think it's in a really good place. Demetrius says, I agree. Demetrius says, the biggest content for Sonic this year is Sonato Gens, Sonic 3, and I guess the six-hour series of the Knuckles show. That'll be a fun watch. Which one? The Knuckles show. Oh, you're going to watch it? We're going to watch it. You're gonna watch it. I'll probably watch it. I can't. I, prob I, prob I probably won't watch it, to be honest. Doesn't... We, we might catch like the first part of the first episode. Okay. I I don't think I can watch the whole thing though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't know if I can. It's not so much Knuckles that I get bored of. It's like everyone else. Well, it's like the trailer did not help. Yeah. The show's case at all. So here's a piece of news. I, I think I read somewhere that they want Sonic to turn into like an Avengers level. Oh yeah, threat or something where like different, you know, just a bunch of stuffs happening. My prediction. This is what I thought of when they said this. Sonic is gonna go. Knuckles is gonna go on his journey, and we're not gonna see him. And then episode six will end in some climactic or interesting way. Sonic 3 movie will happen. Sonic will be down on the ropes. Shadow will be kicking his ass. And then Knuckles will show up at the last <laughs> second. And start beating Shadow up. Uh-huh. It's probably going to be a group effort. Hmm. Pro I mean, I hope Tails is in there too. Like, punch them in the shins. It'd be really funny if every time Tails tried to help, Shadow just rocks them. Kind of like in that episode of Sonic X. <laughs> where he just absolutely oh. eviscerates Tails. <laughs> like, just to hunting him? Up. Yeah. <laughs> he like knocks him off his back and then turns around and just gives him a two yeah and he's just he's out there's that scene where he falls down the <laughs> stairs his head falls down and his tails the overlapping action on yeah. his tails <laughs> it's just it's just amazing that should be um our gif Whenever someone donates something, <laughs> and then when the it was getting a rock, it'll man. alternate between that and that picture of Scourge <laughs> laughing at Tails. <laughs> we should contact Tracy Yardley and just like have him generate the components so that we can like scale it yeah. and use it when we need to. <laughs> That'd be hilarious! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, like man. I said, when was the release date again? I forgot about the show until I saw Knuckles eating grapes again yesterday. I thought the show had come out. Was and it then, like April something? I think so. But like I thought the show had already come out. And then there was more trailer stuff. I was like, wait, they haven't started this show yet. Like I thought they were supposed to do this thing already. Yeah. It's just kind of like... It seems like Knuckles eats a lot. He talks about fish. He eats grapes. We see him eating Doritos. And he's always like laughing, sitting by himself and eating. Yeah, and it, chuckling. It just seems to be like what he's all about, which I love. The Knuckles Eats show. Yeah. That's what it should be called. I love that Knuckles was, was always laughing to himself and like pulling switches and <laughs> you know, like he's such a little, <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> 
All right. So anyway, we we, we want some more rotation. Uh, let, let's work on Sonic's legs first. So it actually says April twenty sixth is when the show is supposed to come out. Oh, that sounds familiar. Okay. So to the end of the month is when it's supposed to come out. We'll see if there are any delays. I would imagine probably not, since the movie's supposed to come out this year. They probably want to get that underway. You know, you, th you, th you would think that. Didn't they, like, wrap up production with 3, like, pretty recently? Yeah, they wrapped up shooting. That's pretty wild that recently the shooting, they must have gone. They, well, this is my hopeful side. Yeah, they just did pickups. They just went back and they had stuff done. And it was like, yeah, we had to do a couple of reshoots and now we're just doing some pickups to finish up. But I bet they didn't finish. And they just finished all the shooting. And now they have to go do post-production for, what is it, April? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. For nine months? How badly do you want to be a star? Dude, like... This is going to be Crunch Hour Central. Yeah. Captain Crunch, dude. <laughs> Call me Captain Crunch. That's all I know how to work on. You're the captain to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the director's telling <laughs> the team of the day? Come hey, on, man. Captain make it happen. <laughs> Who is the captain? Who is he? Oh, my goodness. Liger said, the only thing I know is it's my dad's birthday today, and Knuckles likes grapes. Hey, happy birthday to your dad. Two facts that I know for sure. Happy birthday. I hope uh, your dad has a fantastic day. I know um, I'm not a dad myself. Seems like it's a lot of work. I hope he gets to enjoy the day. Anywho. <laughs> anyway. That, that aside. Cypher Sonic the Rock is voicing Shadow. That would be wild. You think the Rock is voicing Shadow? Oh, you're wondering if he would voice Shadow. Um, I guess it depends on how much money they've got. Yeah. I think Keanu Reeves should voice Shadow. Come on. That'd dude. be really cool. Everyone wants Keanu. That or Vindo. Yeah, Vindo could voice Shadow. I think Shadow 759 would do a great job, too. It should be all the Shadows in the Sonic fandom. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets Everybody a crack gets a, at it. Everybody gets a line. Come on. If you've done any fan production, you get a you, shot. And you voice Shadow, you can even get, like, a syllable. <laughs> the. They start putting it together. Yeah. Greatest stuff of all time, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Let's what up, Utensil? What up, Utensil? What are you doing? All what right. Are you doing? Got about a half hour left. Nice. Half hour of exciting animation. <laughs> like I said, I hope so too. Hope he enjoys the Idris trip because I won't get him another present. That is his birthday present. <laughs> oh. Makes sense. Wow. Cypher Sonic, get some rest. Have a wonderful evening. And yes. Good, good sleep. Take it easy, Cypher Sonic. Thanks for hanging. Alexi said, but The Rock can't lose any fight. He shouldn't. The Rock? He can't lose a fight. Oh, boy. He can't. He's the people's champion. Can't do it. Shadow loses, so can't make it happen. Well, we don't know. Does Shadow lose? Because eventually he does save the day. But then he gets whisked away to the magical space world. And well, we see him again next game. We see him in next again next game, and he's got an alien dad. Yeah. Kind of dropped the ball on that one. I hope all the parents of Sonic's world come together, and um, James Marsden's character, Tom lectures them on how they've all been horrible parents. <laughs> you all abandon your kids! You all screwed up in a colossal way. What? I was working on world domination. What do you want me to say? Come on! Why are you doing this to me, Marsden? <laughs> Why are you doing this, Marsden? Come on! 
Where's this really coming from? My dad abandoned me too. Do we ever see Tom? My parents? dad abandoned me too. <laughs> That's so, so so like, he comes in. My dad. He's got like he's got his binky and a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he would. <laughs> My dad abandoned me. Amy's just like, <laughs> just, just yeah, embarrassed. I have to, I have to break up with him, dude. <laughs> I have to leave I you. I have to leave you. I can't handle this. You keep getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a great clarification, Lager. Say for clarification, it was my mom's idea. I mean, I wouldn't mind going on vacation instead of my dad, but oh well. At least I'm a free woman now for this week. Cool. We want some more, um, I got a little more arc and rotation in, in his feet now. Nice. It's looking good. Doing a great job. Maybe in his fingers. But here, we need like. His fingers to move like that. Yeah. Got some awesome. What up, Junior? Good to see ya. Hey, Junior, how are ya? Sonic, stop this at once. We're gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> I'm taking you down. No one can stop me. And everyone else on this bus, if I have to. You should all be thanking me. I did all the work. Ow! Ow! <laughs> why is this why do you always make everything ten times funnier? That's so funny. Mario Ruiz Jr. said hi, hello! Hello, Mario! How are you? How's it going, dudes? Yeah. Going well. What's the latest? Having a good day? It's Tuesday, right? It doesn't feel like it. Well, it's Tuesday. The year is 2019 and the economy is booming. And I think you'd be good with customers. Excellent. Um, what were you saying, Melvin? Um, You're asking what day it was. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Right? Yeah, it is Tuesday. It yeah. feels like Thursday. It does feel like a Thursday. I think it's just because of all the stuff we've got going on. It just felt like crazy. Yes. Yeah. Hasn't been easy. Mario said, great, I guess. Junior said, nice seeing y'all too, low. Almost there. Better, closer, warmer. I think between um, tomorrow and Thursday. Um, what? What? Tomorrow and Thursday, we should be able to set up the main computer. So we'll at least cool. have a semi-normal stream <clears throat> set up. Way past cool, dude. So I think we actually have... Yeah, I think we have all of our cords and stuff for, for lights and mics and all that stuff too. So we should be able to, in the next couple of days, set that up. Hey, that's pretty cool, dude. I, I'm, I'm gonna, <clears throat> not gonna lie to you. It's gonna feel so weird having our stuff again. <laughs> it is gonna feel weird. You tested said it feels like the third day, Wednesday. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> it feels. It's like the third day. The third day. Wednesday. Shadow seven five nine. What up? What up, Shadow seven five nine? I just in before I deal with some stuff, and here I see Sonic and Eggman doing some madness. Yes, always. Bad guy stuff. <laughs> Alexi said, are you guys on a trip or what's with your setup? We actually, um, oh, you know what? Yeah, Alexi, I don't think you were here for when we talked about like a couple, like a month and a half ago. We made a big move and um, we're on the East Coast. So we have uh, a new studio we're setting up. So it, you can't see the space in its entirety from this one camera angle, but we're setting up a whole new studio and it's got like way more space um, it's gonna be kind of insane once it's all set up um, but yeah so we moved all of our stuff so we are having to reset up the studio 
Um, and all of our equipment actually just recently got here. We've been here for a little while, but our equipment was in transit. <laughs> and now it finally got here. So now we get to get it all set up. Yep. Just like that. It's been a uh, journey, uh -huh. to say the least. But we should be uh, back to our normal setup soon. Or a, uh, our new setup. What I mean by normal is on the new computer, we'll have uh, the Canon camera that we use for our live stream. We'll have our mics so you can hear us better. Yeah. Um, still be animating, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the usual. Uh, but uh, we'll have lighting too. Yeah. It's going to be great. Just our, our, our usual uh, production stuff. We're also, um, the wall that was <clears throat> behind us before at the old place, mm. at the old studio, is going to have like more of the ch different channels, like items on the wall. So you'll get to see um, a bunch of different things and yep. the wall is going to be like way bigger. The wall will be bigger and we'll have more stuff because yeah. we've gotten a lot of... Um, just like through conventions and meeting yeah. with friends over the years, we have like a lot of stuff to showcase. Yeah, and we want we want the wall to be a reflection of all the the wonderful things that people have sent to us in the studio over the years. So yeah, would be a good um, way to kind of show everyone mm -hmm. all the cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a that's that's a tough year for Sega Sammy Holdings. Demetrius. Demetrius, I've been looking at the stock value for uh, Sega Family and it's insanely yeah. low. Like it's, it's not good. It's like you can if you look at the stock projections on their public stock, you can see how like they've just been getting slammed over the course of like yeah. fifteen years. It's like really bad. Yeah, it's just been like the opposite of Quad City DJs. It's just man, it it's like you're we're watching it kind of go down and it's yeah it's sad it's it's like sad on so many levels it is sad on so many levels it's so true because because they could they could just do good they have every ability to just do good they've had every opportunity to do good <laughs> you've had every opportunity and every opportunity to succeed yet you have not <laughs> <laughs> it's like sonic's a judge yeah condemning Sega. the parent company yeah on a personal note, I just don't like you. Now, before I read your sentencing, I have some personal things to say to you. He's like, oh, God, please not. <laughs> not again. Amy's the bailiff. Oh, She's God. like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Amy's always put in embar <laughs> embarrassing situations with Sonic that she wants nothing to do with. Amy, take notes. Sonic, that's the stenographer. I'm the bailiff. Stenographer, take notes! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. You knew what you signed up for, Amy. <laughs> when you said you'd uh, date me, Sonic. <laughs> it's in the contract. Yeah. It says, be my bailiff. Rui says, hope... <laughs> That's quite the contract. Rui says, hope the egg has been cooked scrambled. That's how I like them. Ah, yes. Do you like Scrambled's any... Are good. Do you like any... Uh, cheese with that, or any uh, sort of sauce, like a hot sauce. How do you like your scrambled eggs, really? He doesn't like it with anything else because it takes the egg flavor out of it. I could see that. Or he, he, he likes it with ketchup. Good nice. choice, Rui. Good choice. I guess we'll just have to wait around and find out. <laughs> Good choice, Rui. We'll see what you actually say. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, so let's Worked on Sonic's little fingers here. Let's call them something else. Dimitri said, but the what? Um, probably by the way, IHOP promotion is also giving out full game downloads. For 30 coins, you can get Sonic Origins Plus, and for 40, you can get either Superstars or Frontiers for consoles. What does that mean? What are the coins? What are coins? Yeah, can you explain it to us, please? Does does that like happen with the IHOP promotion or something? This sounds really dumb. Rui said, usually just scrambled eggs and bacon. Fantastic. Great work, Rui. Utensil said, Mel looks like the guy from that Lego Sonic commercial, the new one. 
There's a new Sonic Lego commercial. Oh yeah, you didn't watch it. You like briefly were auto playing it the other day, and then you're like, "Huh, oh, I, I will watch this." Oh, <laughs> that's right. Sounds all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I haven't. I haven't seen him. That's cool. I hope he's a cool looking dude. Probably, probably extremely handsome. Just like I you. wonder if it has anything to do with my yellow shirt. Hmm. Maybe that's what it is. But Dimitri said, I guess the currency for IHOP. So I guess IHOP has like some kind of like, that, that would make sense that they were doing some promotional currency or something like that. So you just spend money to get the games? Wouldn't it? Does, does it make more sense for IHOP to have coin or ring currency? Of course it's going to be something that has nothing to do with something. <laughs> Here are your pancake points. <laughs> right. Okay, so yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's what it must be connected to. Mm. So you can trade <laughs> you can trade in your waffle your waffle house points and your I have pancake points to get games. All right, listen here. We, we got a couple of things you could buy. You could get a side order of bacon or Sonic Frontiers. Everybody's just going for the bacon. Uh, please give me the bacon. I'll just take the bacon, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alexis said, do you miss the commercial? Yeah, I, I, Evelyn said I was auto-playing and I skipped it. Like, I got I don't even remember that. So that's, that's how invested I am. It left quite an impact on me. Yep. This was for Sonic Lego stuff? Yeah. Man, it just doesn't end. Sonic Lego. Sonic pancakes. Ah. Amazing. Diego has missed our videos. They're coming back. Coming back in a big way. We've been gone for a little bit to move the studio and we finally have our things and we're gonna be building the rest of the studio. It's been, um, the the space is massive. So it's it's been a, a good amount of time without our stuff in order to get things kind of prepared for it. Um, but in the next couple days we'll have um, our, our full setup a little bit better, which will be good be a little easier to get things done to get things done it'll be a little easier yeah. to get things get done, done. you know you got uh, the computer back here it's gonna be great it's fantastic fantastic mate <laughs> are Sonic's fingers moving too much here a little too much but the idea is good I'll just scale. I'll just scale some of these. Easier to easier to pull back, my friend. Yeah. So it kind of like um, there is a tip in theater that's that's given to the actors, and you're always told go bigger because it's easier to pull it back than it is to add energy to something. So like if you're you know when somebody says oh you're overacting, well at least if you're overacting on a stage production you can pull it back. So similar mm. to here, even though like. In film acting, you have to be more subtle because the lenses are usually closer to you, so you don't have to be as big. Subtle. Um, you have to be more subtle. In animation, it almost has the opposite effect. You want to go bigger because it's easier to pull the animation and scale it in. Um, well, this is also the framing, too. Yeah. So I think... I still think pulling the fingers back a little bit will help, it, yeah. but... Put it back, my friend. Pull it back. The strings of fate. Yes. The strings of fate. Wonderful. <laughs> Ruby said, so, uh, Sonic trying to drive Eggman or something to his grave. <clears throat> <laughs> the stop is so funny. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> These guys are wacky. They are wacky. Demetrius mm. said, How many ticket sales are Sonic Movie 3 will have it's, if it's being released during the time people are traveling for New Year's celebrations and a majority of the sales are coming from the casuals? Is is the movie supposed to come out closer to New Year's? Yeah, it comes out in like December. 
But is it like Christmas time or is it? Uh, let me see. Do, I I don't even know. Do we even have an, an actual December date? December twentieth, twenty twenty four. December twentieth. I wonder if there's anything else coming out during that time because I do know. There's uh, Disney's uh, live action. Not live action Lion King spin off called Mufasa. Oh right! Oh no! I, I saw. Oh no! Like, you don't understand the 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 pull that Disney has though on on a on films during like the holiday season. That's true. Like it doesn't matter if the movie's bad, people will still go watch it. That's so. Really, yeah. Yeah, because of Disney. Is James Earl Jones, will he be voicing Mufasa? I don't know. Or will they start doing like the AI stuff that they've done with Darth Vader? Well, what oh, they really? did what they did talk about uh, about a year ago now was James Earl Jones wouldn't be doing really any more of that stuff for Disney. Mm. And that they would be using his voice um, to like fill in the lines. So like stuff he's recorded before. Or stuff the AI version of him is going to record. It's either going to be AI or they like, you know, do something else. Like I, at the time they hadn't said AI. So maybe now it's AI. But, um, hmm. oh my gosh, this movie's going to get trounced. Sonic movie three never stood a chance, dude. Dude, what are they doing? If Disney says they're going to release something, you just scoot your date. Just scoot it. Yep. Especially if it's something, even if the, because the Lion King live action film was really bad, but they sold a lot of tickets. So that's kind of what we're dealing with, with, with stuff like that. We're dealing with a franchise that like, even when they don't put out something good, like an insane amount of people are going to go see it. Right. We're talking about Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. Don't do it. Just move the date. It's far out enough. Blame it on something with production. Be like, uh, we couldn't. Margot Robbie owed us yep. $20 million. Dollars. Margot we Robbie owed us, owed us a bunch of money and now we can't do it. Sorry. I like to I like to always shift it back to there. You know. I mean, you have to shift, shift it back to Margot Robbie. Killing it on the Barbie film. Yep. Man, she made a lot of money. But they still made quite a bit of profit on that film. Back to my main point. I don't think it would be a good idea for Sonic 3 to release at the same time as Mufasa. Is it the same day? Yes. No! Oh! No! 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 <laughs> uh, that's some that's some bad guy stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Honestly, they'd be better off like releasing it like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because a lot of people do go to the movies on Christmas. Oh yeah, Why not just go to the movies on Christmas to see the Sonic movie? Let let let. Mufasa have a few days. Yeah. And then you let Sonic drop. Shadow says, uh, Knuckles show is at the 26th, and that's where all, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rui says, Oh, yeah. Ben, uh, pretty much every Disney movie will make a profit because, well, it appeals to the kids, and that's where all the cash comes from. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I mean, how much money did Disney's wish make? I don't know. I don't know. Because I didn't, I didn't see the, um, I know that. Disney Wish is now on Dole Bananas, so oh yeah, I've got you know <laughs> for the checkout stands. for a little while. Everyone was buying Wish Disney Wish bananas. Yeah, <laughs> still are wish bananas. Uh, they're gonna be Wish bananas until the day we die. Disney Wish bananas. Wish took over Dole. Um, man. Um, Dimitri says the reason they're releasing, the reason why I'm in here in the first place. The reason uh, they're releasing that day is because it's the same date that Sonic Adventure 2 was released on Dreamcast. What Dude, a horrible reason. Screw that. Get just get rid of. We need a new plan. <laughs> scratch it. Scratch it. Scratch it. I don't care about your sentimental values. Get I'm trying to make rid of it. Oh yeah, my that's, gosh. That's that's a not that's not a good idea. Oh boy, that is not. A, it's just not a good idea. That is, what is that? It's it's the same. So <clears throat> on the same day it releases, 
You know what that was like? What? It was like when um, uh, Overwatch released at the same time as uh, that other game uh, that was a lot of fun at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You you really liked that uh, game. Battle something. Right. Uh, Battle Arena. Toshinin. Toshinin. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was uh, Battleborn, yeah. So Battleborn was a really good game. But it was releasing at the same time as Blizzard Activision's Overwatch. And I forget the studio that was doing Battleborn. It was like the same one as Borderlands, I think. Um, it was either them or some... Gearbox. Yeah, so Gearbox. So Gearbox at the time um, did not... They were like banking on this game doing well. But what happened was during the time of the releases of the two games... Battleborn was announced, and then shortly after, Overwatch was announced. And Overwatch's marketing campaign was far heavier than Battleborn. And then Battleborn said, okay, well, we're going to release it on this day. And then Overwatch said, we're going to release it on that day, too. So instead of pushing the dates and waiting to either release it sooner or later than Overwatch, Battleborn said, we're going head-to-head. -head, which was the stupidest decision they could have made. It was like, wait a minute, you guys have, like, no marketing in this game. And what, were you just gonna hope? Hope, a uh, pocket I, full of dreams. Yeah, pocket full of dreams and a sack full of beans. Like, just, uh, but that's what this feels like. This feels like a very much like a, hey, this isn't a good way to go, and they're gonna do it anyway. You want more rotation in Eggman's face here? Uh, you know, like, when he's going back and forth, like, it's... Almost, just a little bit of art. Mm. It doesn't have to be like excessive. Mm. Like I would push the art down so then it comes up a little bit this way. Almost like a figure eight. Just but not, not like a whole lot. It'd be great. Because um, then I feel like it's going to give the ease in and ease out you need. It'd be great if I could like Grab hold of these. Like grab hold of this. Like and everything. And... Oh, I can't. <laughs> <say>. Help me! <laughs> there is, there's your next uh, short form piece of content. So it needs to like... Oh, yeah. Actually, I think I can change the uh, 3D cursor. Regina Hedge said question. Maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> you're not the boss of me now. <laughs> and funny. you're not so big. This is what they're saying. Like Eggman is just beating the crap out of them. Woo! It's what I do. Coming up on about a few more minutes here, guys. So, if you got any questions? Ask now. Ask now. What up, Mac? What up, Metalhead Robotnik? Good to see you, Mac. What's the latest, my dude? Dimitri said Adventure 2 Battle was released in Japan on December 20th, 2001 on the GameCube, which is mm. still bad to hear. <laughs> it's funny because he does it in all caps. <laughs> like, here's your interesting information, but it's still a bad idea. So we want his head to, like right now, it's just kind of moving it's not, it's not like, cause like, it's just doing this right now, right? It's just kind of going, wah, 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 wah. we kind of need his head to go, wah, and then like kind of come down this way. Wah, wah, wah. It doesn't have to be as exaggerated as that. Like it, you kind of get it here. You see what I mean? And it eases into the next part, but then it kind of like stops on the left camera, left side of things. So you need to like kind of pull more over. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that feels better. Right. It feels like he's getting jerked. I can try to make it more. I think with. Yeah, I think it, it's very. The way that in which we did this, um, Sonic's hands can't really extend too far. And I, I think that's why we had it a particular way. I would say at that point. Um, I'm not saying, I mean, we can no, try no, no, to... No, 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 I, I, I totally get what you mean. 
I would say at that point, the solution would come into Eggman's mustache needing to stretch and squash. Because then it would feel like Sonic could keep his hands in the same position, and then his mustache would feel like it's being pulled by his hands. Oh. Uh, which means you would have to take control of the individual parts of his mustache to put them back into like his hand. And I don't know if we could do that. I don't know if it goes that far. Right, 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 right. Let's see. So if if it can't, then we're better off not doing the arcs, and we'll have Whoa. to we'll have to kind of just um, see if we can push. Uh... It'll come through in the acting if it doesn't work on the arcs. We could we can kind of we can do that. This guy can't, but the but bottom can. The bottom can. I don't. We give it just enough. Then it it should help with it. So is it is it gonna pull out and then squat? Is it going like? Is it is his mustache starting out then stretching and then squishing back? Yeah. So wherever it, whatever Sonic's hands go, that's where it can kind of go to. So right now it's like. Here, we could try doing something like this, where it stretches out a little more. Like if he's going to the right, then um, that's 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 doing something interesting. Yeah, if he's going to the right, then the motivation would be he'd be pulling on the camera right mustache. And then if he's going to the left, he want to pull his head back to the left. So he's he, he's bringing this mustache up. So. This mustache is going to be squashing out. Yeah. Because he's doing like this, right? Yeah. Um, to answer your question, Adrena Hedge, there is a way to do it. Um, let's, let's go to a cube, All right? Let's have the cube move from here to here. You go into your paths here. Your your motion path. If you I don't know how much of this how much of this they can actually see. see. Let's see. Oh, they can't really see anything. Let me try pushing this up. There you go. Okay. The so, graph it up. So yeah, just just kind of check out. The, the graph editor here. Say if you want, uh, you can go down to your locations, and they'll be highlighted here. You can highlight your your, your location, and then you can go down to modif modifiers and click on noise, and then you can offset scale. You can do strength offset, and you can also restrict the the frame range. So it can go from like 527 to 535, and then you can kind of blend it in, in and out. So like, uh, 5,335. Five Perfect. So you see how it kind of only affects this tangent for a little bit, and you can kind of blend her in and blend it out. So you get kind of a shake or whatever. Nice. I, I, if, if you Google it, uh, I'm sure there's someone else. You, you could get a tutorial on that as well. That's a pretty good example. Thanks, yeah. Let's go back. So we want this to kind of sh stretch out a little bit. So as, I'm sorry, as as he's stretching it, it's kind of like... Uh, yeah, so if he's, yeah, so if he's stretching it up, then the mustache will go up, and then this stash will come in with his hands, so it will stretch it back in. Do you think we should push it more? Try it out. Let's see what happens. Because he's, he's at the apex at the top, yeah? That feels really good. Yeah, that feels a lot better. And then once it's coming... And then it'll do the opposite. So if it's going down, then this mustache will come back in, and then the mustache will get stretched out towards the top like he's pulling it. Hmm. Now with that... Um, 
the motivation of the mustache being stretched will make it easier for the head to feel like it's being pulled up and, and left and right. Because right now, yeah, dude, you're really feeling it. Yeah, that's you, that's great. And we can we can fine tune it. Yeah. But basically, since his head <clears throat> is just doing this, if we don't have the room to push the arc. Then we can use the uh, mm. the stash to be the motivation for that. And what it'll do is his head being going left and right will feel like it's being pulled more because the stash is coming up. Because right. his head is already like extended. Kind of twisting. Pretty, yeah, it's yeah. already extended pretty far and twisting. So that will allow us to not have to push the arc of the model. And then that'll give us the feeling of it. Hearing this Chrono Trigger music makes you really want to play Chrono Trigger again. <laughs> Where he said, literally what I just explained, animator minds think alike. <laughs> yeah, dude. Amazing. Rui knows. Don't let Rui fool you. He's like really good at this stuff. So don't, don't let him fool you. He may say other things otherwise. Yeah. He's really good. He's really good. Don't, don't let him pull a fast one on you. I'm just kidding, Rui. <laughs> don't let him pull a fast one on you. Just kidding. Keep him in your keep him in the light of sight at all times. You the man, dude. You the man. Where he's like, I know Jim. <laughs> it's my friend Jim. It's my friend Jim. <laughs> he's a lot. He's an old trickster, that one. <laughs> Watch out for Jim. <laughs> he's a trickster. <laughs> pretty much what, that's pretty much what it is. That's so funny. All right, so once this comes back up, we're going to have this here. And then we'll just... Uh, we we've done a lot of good work today on uh, on this little beat here. Yeah, it's been coming out really good. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah. doing a whole lot. Nice, dude. Up top, dude. Yeah. Up top, chicken box. Thank you. Very nice. That'll um, really help too. And then when you have um, the part where he pulls back up, it'll 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 feel really good because the mustache has been established. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right in the money, dude. Well, it's been a great time, fellas and everyone, all Sassnicks. The fellow uh, Sassnicks. Fellow Sassnicks. The, the Sassnick fellows. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Melvin. <laughs> Thank you, Evelyn. No problem. Um, no problem. We're going to get going. It's good. Uh, thank you so much for for being here and yes. we'll see y'all on Thursday. Hopefully it's with our new cool way past cool setup. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get it done. I think so too. All right, everyone. See you later.